children's message, and since I, I'm going to call on one of the younger members of our audience today, our crowd, come forth. Uh, <laughs> Milt is a good sport, and he has elected to help us with today's children's message, because how can you not encounter this story about a dead man? Hey, there I am. For those listening at home, Milt's helping us out with the children's message. <laughs> Thank you for getting my attention. Um, today's story is about a dead person. His name is Lazarus. And, and um, I happen to know a few things about dead people because I'm married to a funeral director. And that means that her job is all about taking care of people after they've died and taking care of their families and their friends. And uh, so I happen to have a little special insight into the care of dead people and, and the practice uh, that is still universally used is that when someone dies, we have to wrap them in toilet paper. <laughs> That's not actually true, but in ancient days, 2,000 years ago, they didn't have all the modern devices that we have now to take care of uh, bodies after they've died. And so um, the, the people figured out what to do. And w one thing that was really important to do was to sort of wrap up their bodies, to to kind of uh, protect them and, and, uh, and, and hold them tight. Because uh, in, in death, they sort of imagined that, that you had to kind of keep the body together, that death sort of ties you up. And so we're going to tie Milt up. <laughs> Tuck that one under your arm. Yeah, there we go. All right. And, and you know, you can imagine when someone dies, it's, it's, it's sad. Uh, you know, we're, we, we don't like to imagine that the people in our life are, are going to pass away. We're going to put that one back in there again. And, um, and so we have all these things that, that we do to help us um, acknowledge how important pe people are in our life. My toilet paper is quick to split and not staying together quite as, <laughs> as well. So, so we, have, uh, uh, we have these rituals and, and we, we gather together and we, we, we take care of each other just like we take care of the dead. And in today's story that we're going to hear in just a minute, um, the dead person's name is Lazarus, and his family is deeply sad that he has passed away. In fact, so sad, they, they, they kind of get a little mad and upset with Jesus because they had asked Jesus to come and heal Lazarus as he was sick, and, and, and Jesus wasn't able to get there in time, and so Lazarus dies, and, and it's sad. And everybody is quite, quite sad, and, and, the, and the tears are, are there, and, and, and yet Jesus offers a promise that Lazarus will be okay. In fact, because Jesus is all about life and things that are living, Jesus even does this. He comes to the tomb where Lazarus is all tied up and bound up, and he comes to the tomb and he tells them to roll the stone away, and he yells and he says, Lazarus, come out. And what does Lazarus do? But walks right out of the tomb, wearing his grave clothes. Now, they probably looked a little better than this toilet paper. But here's a really important detail. Lazarus, now alive, amazing, so amazing, but he's still all wrapped up. And there's a really important thing that happens at the very tail end of this story. And that is Jesus tells all the family and the friends that are there to unbind him and set him free. So, Roger, I need your help. We got to unbind 
our Lazarus today. We just got to rip these off because this is the community's job to help unbind and be set free. This is the work that you and I have to do, that we are called to do when Jesus tells us, unbind him and set him free. We rip off those things that have held us tight, that have carried us into death, and we let go. Thank you, Lazarus, for your help today. Now, you all have an opportunity to participate in this story over the course of the coming weeks. Out on the table in the narthex, just opposite that door, there are some slips of paper. Imagine them being like strips of cloth that we use to tie up people when they die. What are the things in our life that, that hold us tight, that, that keep us captive, that... that that uh, wrap us in fear and, and shroud us in terror. What are those things? Perhaps you have a prayer that you'd like to ask for God's help with around that. On those slips of paper, you can write any of those things down. Write down the things that hold us captive. And as you write them on the piece of paper, put them in the baptismal bowl, which is out there, and that, let that be your prayer. And then you'll see we're adding those slips of paper as they're written to our cross this season. So that's our project for this whole series of Lent. Lazarus, thank you for your help today.